What do I have to do to collaborate with you? What, what is the uh, what's the ultimate goal that I must complete? You got to survive the tough mutter. Survive the tough mutter. Talk about it, yeah. And then I might be able to collab with you. It's got nothing Holy to do with movies, crap. man. It's got everything to do with athleticism. <laughs> okay, it's not not about information at all. It's only about skill. Okay, <laughs> you'll be fine, bro. You'll be fine. Right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. I just got back from Seattle. Warner Brothers Pictures apparently came across the channel and they asked me if I wanted to do Tough Mudder. And in case you guys don't know what that is, that's a 10 and a half mile, 10 and a half mile, 10 and a half mile obstacle course with some of the most insane obstacles ever. So many times I thought I was going to die. So it kind of made sense why they wanted to bring me out there to help promote the Edge of Tomorrow Blu-ray release, which is right here. Oh, bam. That's right. I got it on Blu-ray, motherfucker. It is an awesome movie. It is one of my favorite movies of the year, possibly my favorite movie of the year. And I'm not just saying that to kiss Warner Brothers ass, although Warner Brothers, if you're watching, huh, this nose looks a little bit brown today. I'll do anything for you guys. Doing a, an insane obstacle course, they call it Tough Mudder, and there are times where you're literally climbing like mountains of mud. It's just nuts. And then they had weird obstacle courses, you know? Like some are like some you've seen before, like jump from here to there, or jump over this giant fucking wall. I was able to do that. I was able to pull myself up over a wall. This fat ass was able to do that. I had some great t guys on the team with me. I found out about this like a month and a half before, but I didn't look into what Tough Mudder was. And some of those obstacle courses involve you having to like crawl under barbed wires and then you have to go through a tunnel and you gotta pull yourself through this muddy ass tunnel and then you gotta fall into a bunch of mud water. One, you have to jump into a, a huge tank of ice water. It's literally filled with ice. <laughs> that way they're like, we're not fucking around. You jump in it, you gotta go under this thing and then you gotta come out on the other end to climb your way out of there. I don't even get the point of that. I threw up somewhere between six to nine times. Let's put it like this. They had a medical center there. After the race was done, the medical center had to fill me with two IVs. And you know what? Something got me thinking, and this was a genuine thought that ran through my head. Tom Cruise must be super athletic. <laughs> like, he's 50. You're watching movies like Edge of Tomorrow and you're like, holy shit, this guy's incredible. I want to talk about it after the video. I want to show you guys some footage of the event, some of it's a vlog, some of it Warner Brothers put together. I had a great fucking time out there doing Tough Mudder. And after the video, I'll tell you about my experience and who I became after this battlefield. Hey guys, Ryan right here. I'm currently in Seattle, Washington. Or Seattle. I, I don't know states that well. Warner Brothers sent me Hedge of Tomorrow Blu-ray release promotion. They want me to do Tough Mudder. Right now, I'm going to go meet all the fucking people that are gonna be a part of this. Gonna have dinner with them. I'm nervous. I get nervous around strangers. I tend to make dick jokes when I'm uncomfortable, which just makes everything more uncomfortable. But, let's try to bond. So I just met my team. <laughs> that was great, awesome. I just met my team. Who's, wait, who's on my team? Me. These, That's three. these three. Okay, cool, cool. So. Hi, I'm Susan Francia. Susan, okay. Yes. Okay. And my How... trick is that I'm a rower. Rower? I rode on two Olympic teams. You I rode on two Olympic medal. teams. Got two gold That's medals. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I guess all I can do. Holy <laughs> crap. That's, you can do it. That's very well. well. I'm it's just the best happens. in the world at what I, I, I do. I'm sworn to be the best at one thing, everything else. <laughs> hey. I am going to disappoint the hell out of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michelle, hey, right? Hey, Michelle Orky, yeah. Okay, so. I run and rock climb. What the? Why do they invite me? This is so not cool. <laughs> I thought everyone was gonna be like a lazy ass person like me. This is this really sucks. And what's your name, sir? I'm James McGrath. James, that's the a beast. Oh, we got two beasts at the table. And uh, how are you invited for this? I I do Ninja Warrior. You do Ninja Warrior? Yeah. What the? We what all am I doing? Ninja all Warrior. you guys do Ninja Warrior. Ninja Warrior too. So okay. That's why they contact you. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is none other than Schmo's No oh. over here. Yeah. This is amazing. Holy crap. And he said he's seen my channel, which is so flattering. Big fan of the channel. I'll tell you what's amazing is that I actually completed the Tough Mudder today for Edge of Tomorrow. You're going to be doing it tomorrow? Uh, to tomorrow, yeah. yeah. How, how was it? Dude, a piece of cake. Wasn't really lying. No. I, here, here's what I have. 
I have some cross country training. Okay. Um, a Tough Mudder is kind of like cross country with a lot of crap in between. There's crap okay. to climb, crap to go under, crap to go around. There's an Arctic tank at one point that's really going to make you lose your manhood for a second. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it, it's a great time. You're going to have a blast. Just be friends with the team. And if you got some American Ninja Warriors on your team, that okay. always helps. Wow. Dude, it's a real honor to meet you. I, I, like, I, I got all starstruck once I finally realized who you were. Yeah. Likewise, my friend. Yeah, no. Um, to all the ladies that follow his channel that haven't followed our channel yet, no, you got to clean up a lot. Lot better. This is me after a month. Every time people see my channel, they always say Schmoes No and Jeremy Johns. <laughs> so this is like an, a, a complete honor to finally meet you. Hey, okay. rock and roll, man. You got Thank the you. Batman shirt. I got the uh, Super Mario Empire Strikes Back shirt. Yeah. So we know how to dress. But. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks, man. Hey, Appreciate it. Good luck. If you survive tomorrow, come on the show. <laughs> I totally will. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> These are big timers at WB. I gotta put you in my vlog real fast. You what? I gotta put you in my vlog real fast. Okay, so what do you need me to do? I need you to just answer me one question. This is Tina, she's been in contact with me for this. Okay. Why did you invite me when I'm clearly one of the most out of shape people here? Because you're a legend. That's why? I mean, I'm just... you video killed it for warming up on the, the jungle gym. One. Oh, you saw that? That's great. That's <laughs> fantastic. It's amazing. Uh, clearly, we had to invite you. Everyone here is so buff and muscular, and I'm like, and there's Olympic athletes here and stuff. Well, well thanks. We'll see Can't wait to make an tomorrow. ass out of myself. <laughs> Thank you. This is John. Hey, what's up? Another athlete. That well, I am not. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, like I'm, I've done tough motor before, but I'm not, I'm not like Ninja Warrior tough like these dudes. So okay, I'm, I'm kind of nervous too. I was like, I hope I'm not the most like out of shape one there. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the most out of shape one there. <laughs> it's about endurance, a lot of it too. So uh, okay, so it just takes a lot of mental strength. Yeah, yeah. Okay, something I don't really possess. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna have to do. So you gotta have to like fake an injury and then go home. <laughs> hey, like, that's. Oh, oh I I'm can't gonna do fake it, it right before it starts. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. This is Alyssa. She's the one who contacted me. Um, I asked Tina this question. Why'd you invite me when I'm clearly really out of shape? Because you really, really love our movie. And that's the. Really? It's that simple to get invited to this? No. You just gotta like the no. film a lot? No, because you're a great personality and you're gonna add a lot to the team dynamic. <laughs> okay, I'll just cheer people on. That no, sounds more like my style. I did it today. Do you you know? did it today? I sure did. The full 10 miles. Oh my god. Yep. Dude, this sounds insane. Well, thank you, Alyssa. Hello, Teammates. <laughs> this is, uh, oh my God, I just forgot your name. I'm just gonna call you Jurassic Park for the next <laughs> rest of this road trip. Um, what was your name again? I'm so sorry. Russ. Russ, yes. Russ. So how'd you get invited to this? Are you part of WB? I, I have no uh, idea what anyone is. Good people from the WB invited me, or they want to kill me. I don't know. <laughs> That's more like what I'm thinking, too. They, they want to eliminate yeah. the competition. I probably worked out twice before this event. so I, I used to work for a show on the WB, so maybe this is their get back at me. I don't know. And that's El Elliot, right? Yeah, yeah. Elliot back there. How'd you get invited to this? I want to uh, movie reviews, and they, you know, they invited me. Do a little couple posts on it and everything. Wait a second, wait a second. I've, I've noticed there's a lot of movie reviewers. Yeah, I know, I know. Did you guys give bad reviews for, for <laughs> Edge of so. Tomorrow? Is I that know. Edge of Tomorrow? Is awesome. <laughs> it's literally my favorite movie of the okay. year. And I said that in my and review. They yeah. want to kill you. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. a great movie. I've been a big supporter of Tom Cruise's comeback for a long time. Yeah. Come back. He never left. He kind of left a Did little tiny left. bit. Then he goes protocol, and then, and then he was back on top again. Okay. No, I, I followed his great, career yeah. for a long time. Yeah. What'd you just Possibly. say you did? <laughs> so last year in November, I did the world's toughest mutter, which is a 24 wow. hour race. So you basically do the tough mutter as many times in a row as you can until you can't go anymore. <laughs> what hour did wow. you get to? I made it to 19. Wow. I was screaming. <laughs> I want to fight you. <laughs> I, just, I want to yes. see if I can stand. We're having a poop this conversation. Did you know we're that gonna be running in poop? We're gonna be running in poop. My kind of conversation right now. We're dining here. We're gonna get pizza the day before we get tough butter. <laughs> we're uh, we're hard right? yeah. This is Johnny and Amanda. Hi. How you doing? Know? Ridiculously good-looking couple. Oh. This is she's gorgeous. <laughs> You ready for the tough one tomorrow? Am I? No. Yeah, not me either. Not at all. Me either. I haven't met him yet, but you just I hear he has a YouTube, YouTube channel media, too. Media, media. Oh, yeah, that's my channel. A fitness. Scott Harmon Fitness. Fitness. Scott Harmon Fitness. What are you doing? Here? I've heard of you. <laughs> 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 you do a lot of videos and stuff. Like, that's my channel. Cool. I just, I just have a shirt on. I've got a few months ago. Hard to recognize. Oh, God. How'd you guys get invited to this? Uh, just through um, American Ninja Warrior. 
and uh, the Ninja. Olympics. The Olympics? I feel like I should really know who you guys are, and I'm a, I'm a total <laughs> jerk. How many uh, subscribers do you have? On my fitness channel, I have 612,000. That is so puny compared <laughs> to mine. He's like, eh, no big deal. 30,000 over here. <laughs> Six. Everyone starts at one. Oh, everyone yeah. starts at zero. Still an accomplishment, though. Wow, no, seriously, you guys are like both really good looking and happy. You, you, sh you should be together. Because of your looks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't care about your personality. It's just strictly your just looks. Don't talk. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all you guys really need. I overheard that you were going to pursue modeling. How did you know you were so good looking <laughs> that you could do that? You should ask him that. He's so humble already. You know. I mean, one day I was just like, wow, I'm really, really good looking. <laughs> I had the same thought, but no one believed in me. So it's pretty amazing. You weren't looking at the spoon. You weren't looking at the spoon, right? I need to look at the spoon. That's what the trick is. So I got about two hours of sleep. Fucking tired. <sighs> Should have masturbated. I'm glad Warner Brothers gave me this opportunity, but I'm immediately regretting this decision. So we just got here. Fucking freezing. I wonder if that's his real last name. Weakland. Hey, that's a real last name. It is. I've heard of it all. You've heard it all? I've heard it all, so. what, what have you heard? You name it, I've heard it. Today I proved to people that I'm a man, even though I only have one testicle. At the starting line, they're like, Athlete. Sure. Athlete. Yeah. They, had, they were like, all. Oh. Athlete. <laughs> Semi-pro kickball player. Semi-pro kickball player. Mm. Olympic gold athlete. With two gold medals. With two gold medals. And we're on the same team, but I'm going to outdo you're an everyone. You're an athlete. Yeah. You're an athlete. Yeah. I'm going to use APP. Athlete. I like that. Like apps. Oh. Too soon. Too soon. I think when I watch... This is the cameraman Chandler. <laughs> Looking forward to working yeah. with this young man today. It's going to be good. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> so Chandler, do you have any friends? <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Jesus, I bet you That's never classic. heard that Nailed before. It. I bet you never yeah. got that. That's a classic. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Only Rachel and Monica were here. Oh, <laughs> yes. He's continuing it. Yeah, usually well, somebody's happens. excited. We're sticking together. Look, 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 at, look at us now. That was so fun. Look at this heart tattoo. Yeah, it's, we'll talk about that later. She got pissed drunk one day and woke up with it. I really did. How do you Speaking know? Of her ex. No one else would get that. Seven thirty. No, you can see the real tattoo inside of the heart tattoo. <laughs> oh, I know you're fifty one. I have it at the interview. <laughs> They promised me Tom Cruise would be here. Yeah. He is at the end. You didn't see him? I, I did not see Tom Cruise. <laughs> Except, oh, was that him? Is that Tom? All right, guys. Tom, 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 the Tom. That's yours. Yeah, mine is so <laughs> much bigger than yours. It's way bigger. Damn, dude. <laughs> like, trampolines yeah. are so they're so fun and yeah. you go. Oh, oh. Up. Up. Hey, hey, so I love Tom Cruise. Oh, this is an on, but I'm gonna keep yelling. <laughs> I was led to believe. We're about to begin. You guys can bring the tape and do any of that over there. I kind of hate myself right now. Nine times I vomited today. I'm doing great. So yeah, Tough Mudder was an interesting experience. Something a lot of people might not know about me, and um, you probably don't, doesn't come across in these videos. I do uh, something called personal development. I, I do a lot of that. You know, some people call it like self-help books, some people call it motivational CDs, but I do listen to a lot of that. I've read a lot of that. I, and like, I'm one of those people who like, I'm always saying quotes. I worked on training my mind and heart to become who I am today. 
And for some reason, all I translate as is a horny douchebag. Damn, like this was like to help design my Marines. You know, just doing one mile, I was like, holy shit, did I just go a mile? And some of these obstacle courses and stuff, you look at them, you're like, there's not a chance in hell I could do that. Like there's one where you have to go down this really steep hill and you have to use a rope to come down. It. I, whatever, I don't want to think about it right now. <laughs> but literally, you, you have to like push yourself to the limit. You don't realize what you're capable of doing until you actually do it. That's how it is for me in a lot of things. I am constantly encouraging people to start their own YouTube channels. I'm the last guy to be like, nah, this is my thing, you do your own thing. I love helping out people with starting up YouTube channels. I know we're not like the biggest channel on the planet, but still it's like, I'm so happy to see that this channel's growing like every day. We jump up like two to 300 new fans a day, which is Huge, that is just insane numbers to me. I remember we were jumping up like five people a day. Now it's in the hundreds and I'm like, whoa, this is nuts. Yeah, I'm having a great time doing it. Honestly, like if you asked me like two, three years ago if I was capable of doing this, I would have said, yeah, but I wouldn't have truly had the belief in myself. And it's like, one thing that a businessman, it is a businessman who taught me this. He said, uh, there's two types of people, average and successful. Average people are gonna give you advice on how to be successful but the people you should listen to are the successful ones on how to become successful. It just makes sense. Now I know I'm not like super successful or something, but for what the channel has become, this is the first time in my life where I feel like I am successful at something. And that's really thanks to you guys. Like big time, I'm, I feel like I'm about to cry and I have cried too many times on this channel. So give me a second. I'm not crying. But with Tough Mudder, you know, it just goes back to like everything. Like one thing that I heard is like success is like working out. Like you start off with five push-ups, you do five push-ups, and then eventually you graduate to 10, then you graduate to 15. It sounds cheesy as fuck. The reason why I said average and successful is because there's average people will hear quotes and then they'll go, that's so cheesy, that's so cliche. But who are the ones that live by these cheesy cliche quotes? Successful people. And so it really does come back to like mentality and attitude towards things. Like you really do have to endure, persevere, find more strength in yourself. Like it is, it was crazy. Like I came out feeling like a, a brand new confident human being. Actually, no, I was pretty sick. Later on that night, I felt like, whoa, I didn't realize what I was capable of doing. And sometimes when you just throw yourself in there, you gotta do it. And I was bringing up other people starting up YouTube channels because I read all the comments. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been the best at replying back to comments because I like to go in order of when they came in and there's just more and more every day now that I, I don't wanna skip anyone. I read these comments and I, and I and when the few times I do get to interact, I see that a lot of you guys are like more knowledgeable than I am when it comes to this stuff. And some of you guys write long ass paragraphs and of your opinion and everything. And it's like, dude, if you just stay true to yourself and you just be that person, so many of you like subscribers could totally have your own channels one day. And then we could totally collab, which would be so fucking awesome. Taylor Houston, for example, Yousef Ashraf, like Jiggly Jelly, like you, just some names off the top of my head. Like you guys could have your own channels and I strongly encourage it, but I'm not sure which one of you guys it was, but I remember talking to one of you and you're like, no, nah, I can't do it. And I'm like, dude, seriously, like, I don't know why this is around my wrist. If you really want to do it, you, you can totally do it. You never know what you're capable of doing unless you try. Like, it's just that simple. Like, don't let fear talk you out of something. You don't need some type of really solid thing yet. Just go out there and test the waters, use it as a playground at first, and just have fun. And then you guys are on YouTube all the time, you might as well join the behind the camera stuff or in front of the camera stuff, whatever. I'm trying to sound cool. You guys, not just you three, but a bunch more of you, literally could start up your own channels and, and be way more intelligent than I am. It does take like belief in yourself to do something like Tough Mudder. It does take something like of going, I'm not gonna quit. I kept quoting Rocky. I was like, I just wanna go the distance. I just wanna go the distance. I don't care about how fast it is I, I am or how slow I am. I just, I wanna go the distance. It took six hours and uh, yeah, I wish it went a little faster, but still. And like the camaraderie of, of these guys, Scott Herman, fitness dude, he was like a great fucking leader out there, man. Like if there was one guy who was really just like, was really helping to motivate me, it was that dude. Um, Zach something, sorry dude. <laughs> you were fucking like awesome too, man. Uh, the girls were all great. 
can't remember any of their names now because I'm sexist. No, I just can't remember any of the names. All of them were just fantastic, man. Russ, dude, Russ, and uh, oh my God, I spent most of the obstacle course with this guy and I don't remember his name right now. The black guy, not the black guy. I mean, there's another black guy. The, he has a vlog channel, but the other black guy. Whatever. He was like a, a, a bigger example of me than anything else because like he, he, uh, he said to me at one point, he knows he's the biggest guy on the team and he knows he's not the most fit for this, but he just went the fucking distance, man. And it really is just about hanging in there. Like seriously, since Tough Mudder, I've been thinking this way like again and again and again. I already thought this way, but it's been like super amplified. And I just want to share it. And Warner Brothers, they were so fucking kind. I was kind of surprised. I'm like, you guys are treating me like I'm just a friend. That is so cool. It doesn't feel like some business meeting the whole time. Like, you're actually just hanging out with these guys. And they're all fucking awesome. Alyssa and Tina and, oh my god, why am I so horrible with names? Uh, and then like other Warner Brothers people <laughs> over there. It really was one hell of an experience. Like I could see how this links to Edge of Tomorrow with all the beach war fighting sequences, the fucking weight of the world they have to carry in those armor suits. Yeah, it makes you, you feel like a badass by the time you're done. While you're doing it, you feel like a badass. Like when you're getting through it, you're like, I am a badass. I could be in the Edge of Tomorrow sequel. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, you can uh, go out there, you can buy Edge of Tomorrow on Blu-ray, favorite movie of the year. Not just saying that to Brown Nose, but if it's helping out Warner Brothers, I will gladly say it again and again. This is Ryan Wright. Take care now. Bye-bye then.